Opportunity. Opportunity. Wake up. Since June 10th of this year, NASA has been out of contact with the Mars Opportunity rover due to a global-wide dust storm on the red planet. Now, scientists and engineers are optimistic that they will hear back from it, but no one is sure when or even if the rover will wake up. But recently, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory has outlined a plan on how they plan on waking Opportunity up. And this includes different communication protocols, such as major music hits, such as Rocket Man and Bohemian Rhapsody. So let's talk about that. To begin, one of the earliest videos on my channel actually steps through the designs of the Spirit and Opportunity rovers. Opportunity, also known as Oppy, is solar powered. Thus, the atmospheric opacity greatly depends on how much energy it can actually take in from the sun. For example, in its location on Mars, it experiences an opacity of around 0.5. However, on June 10th of the last day we were in contact with it, it said the atmospheric opacity was around 10, which is way beyond the limit that it's able to recharge. And scientists at JPL believe that it's just over two right now, and in order for the batteries to fully recharge, it will have to get below an opacity of two. Thus, the dust storm is getting smaller, and this will allow Oppie to recharge its batteries. So how does NASA know when the rover wakes up? They are using the Deep Space Network to send signals to the rover to reference its wake-up times, or times that they want Oppie to wake up. So this can be related to an alarm clock that's used for us here on Earth. It's basically telling it, okay, this is the time you need to wake up, try and wake up now. Now these signals as of recently have been in the form of popular songs, such as I Will Survive, Space Oddity, Rocket Man, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Here Comes the Sun. Now in the description, there's a full playlist of all the ones that have been attempted over the last few weeks. Now it was also thought that Oppie may have experienced a clock fault or basically not being able to tell time. And this is because when it enters a low power mode, it can lose its time tracking abilities, and then it'll use things like the sun to determine what time it is. However, during a dust storm, that could be very difficult because it's a much darker throughout the entire day. Therefore, you might think it's actually nighttime when it's daytime, or you might think it's dawn when it's dusk and confuse a lot of different things. Now again, this could be related back to our own wake up schedules, where if I asked you to wake up at sunrise, it could be much more challenging if it was a cloudy or overcast day when you wouldn't actually be able to tell when the sun comes up right away. So this ultimately means that NASA has to also listen to Oppie throughout the entire day or at different points during our day. So the Deep Space Network is constantly listening at Mars to see whether or not we can hear its voice when it wakes up. Now there may be another dilemma that Oppie also lost its communication protocol. Now it is programmed to relearn how to communicate with us back at Earth. However, it might make it longer for us to be able to detect these signals because they're not exactly what we're expecting. Now, if scientists hear back from the rover, that will be great news. However, there could be a lot of issues with it, such as a much lower power usage, damaged solar panels, instruments covered up by dust. All of these things could be detrimental to the mission as a whole. So even though we might hear from the rover, it might not be in operable states. Most importantly, if the battery's efficiency is too low, then we won't be able to operate the Opportunity rover as well as we want it to, and it could also mean that it would die during the next winter. So these are some things that we're going to have to look for if or when we hear back from it. Now the best case scenario is we hear back from Oppie over the next few weeks and then we can begin the stages of learning about it and hoping that the damage to the battery isn't too bad. But the worst case scenario is that we spend the next few months trying to wake it up, getting in contact with it, and eventually hear nothing, ultimately having to cancel the mission and leaving Oppie on the red planet with its twin spirit waiting forever. Now what do you think? Do you think we'll get in contact with Oppie? And if so, do you think the batteries will actually be damaged to the point we won't be able to use it? Let me know in the comments below. Now if you'd like to learn more about this, I have more articles listed below about the playlist, the design, and the Deep Space Network. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.